Hey guys, what's up? Doing something a little bit different today that I don't think anybody has done. I don't know if a lot of you know, the only exercise that I actually like <laughs> is pole dancing. And back in 2017, I think I did a uh, pole dance video for 20,000 subs. And now we are about to hit 200,000 subs in like a couple weeks or a month or something, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Can't believe it. It's so exciting. I'm like loving all the new people and like all the fun we're having lately. And it's like, my dream and it's like oh the journey is so fun and it's the greatest so before we get into the video making the big announcement that when we hit 200k i will do another pole dance video for you guys even though i'm nowhere near what i used to be but i have a pole in my like back room and it's gonna be a fun time so subscribe we're gonna look at pole dance fails, AKA stripper fails, because I have valuable input on all this stuff considering I can actually do it. And uh, it'll be funny, so let's get rolling, my friends. So this girl though, right here, she's a pole dancer because she's got the pole dancer body, which the typical pole dancer body is jacked upper arms and like strong core, but like not super thick legs or well-developed glutes because obviously you're up in the air. And a lot of them don't like, you know, weight train or whatever because they're doing it because they like enjoy pole dancing and they're not doing it to like be aesthetic you know so a lot of pole dancers end up looking like uh barbies with gi joe arms anyway so someone just failed to screw in this pole strong enough but she caught it it's fine i don't know how they do that though like maybe they forgot like they took a phone call or whatever because it's pretty hard like it's pretty easy to check to make sure those things are like strong and sturdy enough all right okay so this is like i don't know what this is Oh, this is just amateur hour. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this cross legs thing, what's going on here? No, no, no. No, 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 girl. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not cute. That's a recipe for not fun times, madam. Oh, no. I have never done that because I am not an idiot. All right, all right. We got some boys. Men can do some cool stuff on a pole a lot because y'all upper body strength. If y'all know the technique. <laughs> and they broke it that's not a good pole though i don't know that's one of those like crappy poles they sell at like spencer's or something that's not like a legit pole i can tell this is also not a legit pole no you can tell with the black if you want a legit pole you buy x pole and that's pretty much it <laughs> and um side note if any of you are like oh my wife likes pole dancing classes or it would be cool if she did it or i want to try it or whatever get yourself a 45 millimeter pole instead of a 50 or above pole like in a strip club it's usually the 50s but most likely you don't have big hands and it's easier to grip a pole that isn't so thick <laughs> i don't know what this guy's doing yeah, okay, it broke. This is starting to be a recurring theme. It's not that hard to, to install a pole, y'all. Oh, no! Ow! F, 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 F. Okay, hold on. This is called a uh, the Iron X or an Aisha, depending on whatever you want to call it. I used to actually train like legit for pole dancing to the point where I can still do some crazy stuff even though I literally like never practice or do anything because I'm too busy. Uh, that's my excuse. She's already got the uh, technique right because this is how you do this move. A lot of people think it's this and it's actually this. I know it's crazy, but it gives you leverage. Okay, so what happens? Yeah, she's a legit pole dancer. Okay, that, that's, that, that, that wasn't a fail. That was practice. That's what happens when you practice. She's trying to do this thing where they like, they catch it into your, your arms. So you like, you're upside down and the pole's like here and then here. And so they're starting like this and she's trying to jump into this and make it like a cool transition. It's hard. I've never been able to do that. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did it once, but I didn't practice it enough and it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. No, that wasn't a fail. Oh, this is another thing I see a lot of people do girls oh fun fact i taught pole dance classes at the university of florida not at the university but around the university i wanted somewhere to practice there was this toy store for people over 18 and in the back they did classes but it was mostly like boudoir and like chair dancing and stuff for like housewives i guess or whatever um but they didn't have someone who like could do like legit tricks which i can <laughs> Go watch my 20k sub video, you'll see. I wasn't even good then. But when I was like 21, I looked like a Barbie with G.I. Joe arms back then. I did. There was a point in time, it was dating this guy. It was when I was I was dancing at like, I was working in a strip club like four or five days a week easily. And it was like before I transferred to Fordham, I was like, had the semester off and I was like, I was stripping like all the time. And as a result, I was pole dancing all the time, practicing all the time. And I was so 
jacked. <laughs> like it was kind of obnoxious. I have a picture from this time period. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do of what my arms looked like. It's so like hard to see though. And I'm like naked in it. So there's that. <laughs> you can see my bicep. It's fuzzy, I know. It was a lot. <laughs> he was like a um, skinnier kind of, honestly, he was built a lot like PewDiePie, kind of. I was like kind of feeling his arms and I was just being, you know, whatever. And I was like, oh, whatever. And then I was like, oh, you should feel mine. And then I like flex. If you still feel it, like it's a little softer than it used to be, but um, I still got like shoulders and biceps and stuff from just years of this crap. <laughs> he gets so disgusted. He's like, ew, babe, what the, eh? How are your arms more jacked than mine? That's not hot. And that's when I thought to myself, I was like, okay, from now on, I need to, I need to date real men. <laughs> if you're gonna be all intimidated by my pole dance and arms. Ah. Okay, so she's doing this. It makes sense if they're trying to get up on the pole like this because like they don't quite have the strength to just lift themselves with their core. So they just try to like force it with their legs, but that doesn't actually train your body to be able to do this smoothly. What trains your body is literally like you hold the pole and you grip it a lot, especially you get those little grippers. And then you just like do like, um, like leg lifts while you're holding the pole and like strengthen your core. And then you start trying to like turn over more. And then eventually you can do Something that you'll see once we have 200k subscribers. All right, so what's the fail? Okay, point your feet, girl. I hate when I go to a strip club and then the girls are doing tricks and they're like, okay, I'm doing tricks, but they don't point their damn feet and it look and they're wearing these big clunky heels with like flat feet while they're trying to look all sexy upside down on a pole. And I'm like, girl, point your that feet doesn't look good, but it looks so good if you point your feet with those big stripper heels on, then your legs look like so long and like sexy. I'm like a ten on a pole. I'm like a six in real life body wise, but on a pole I look dope. Okay, so she's what, what's going on here? Hold on. So she's trying to. Oh, she's trying to do an Aisha. Okay, I know what she's trying to do. All right, that was just practice. That wasn't a fail. What is this? I don't think either of these people know what they're doing. No, look at her arms. There's no way she can do anything on a pole. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's look at, uh, okay, legit pole dance studio. Oh wait, she's doing a Superman. All right, well, this whatever she's about to do is just practice because this move is not easy. Superman, yeah, I can do that. Okay, get it, because you're like a Superman. Oh, she's trying to do something real hard. Yeah, I can't do that, I'm not that flexible. Oh yeah, that's a real, that's like literally like a, t like a top veteran level move, girl. Yeah, that's why she's got the whole pat, that's not a fail. Why are they putting this kind of stuff here? That's clearly not a fail. There's something called practice. <laughs> Did she really have one of these things installed on a damn, like just stud with no reinforcement? <sighs> You cannot do that. Wow, she really thought that was gonna work. You can use the pressure poles if you have like a flat ceiling, but this, you can't put it against just a stud. It has to be on a stud, but also a flat beyond the stud. If you're using this round disc, I know none of you care, I'm sorry. <laughs> but in my back room, it has like a little bit of an angled ceiling and I had to um, have it professionally mounted into the stud with like not that kind of top. It's like a permanent mount. <laughs> yeah, girl, you're dumb, that's why. How did you think this was gonna work for you? Oh yeah, yeah, Aisha, oof. <laughs> well, this one wasn't so much of a fail because this girl, like, just so you know, being able to do this at all is pretty serious. Oh! <laughs> Y'all! <laughs> Oh my God. How are you gonna go to the, the whole trouble, get in a pole, installing that shiz, and then setting up a camera? Like how do you go through all those motions and not check that the pole is stable? Cause you can tell, you know if it's stable or not. You literally just shake it and it'll fall off if it's not stable. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it hurt. This has never happened to me, just so you know. Hula hoop, oh, oh, oh my God, what? Oh my God, the pole broke? Oh, this is a freestanding pole. This is where it's not in the ceiling and, oh no. <gasps> oh, someone didn't put it. Oh my God, okay. So when you have a pole, they can't obviously ship you or like, you can't really have like a one long pole usually cause you can't ship it or buy it or store it or anything like that. So the only time you see like one long pole is that like if you have them commissioned and like, professionally installed. But anyway, so for the poles on the market, they come in like pieces, like yay long or something. And then there's this little, I don't know what it's called. It's this tightener thing. So you like put it inside one of the pieces and then put the other piece on top. And then you do this hex screw thing. It's like two metal pieces in a circle and they like widen and then that makes it tight. So someone didn't screw on the, the hex screw things. That's the worst. Ooh, that's so dangerous. I hope she's okay. Aisha, 
Ooh, oh no. Oh, did you see that? There looks like there's like people watching, like it's at her little studio thing. Okay, so number one, you can tell she's a beginner. She's doing this Aisha and she's like very, this is how I used to do it when I first could do this move. You're so scared because you're putting all your weight into just this piece of your forearm and your hand right here. And she's not confident enough to actually take her body away from the pole yet. And yeah, she just slid down and oh my God, look, oh, it hurts, it hurts. Oh wait, hold on. There's Markiplier and Jacksepticeye pole dancing. Okay, they went to an actual studio. Okay. So she's showing them what's up. Is this monetized? <laughs> Why is she dressed like this in a, Oh my God, look at Markiplier. <laughs> okay, that's easy. This move, I'm so good at this move, by the way. By the way, there's two types of pole dance studios in the world. There's ones that are run by like actual dancers who are like ballerinas and gymnasts and stuff. That's the ones I went to. And then there's ones that are like how to be a stripper like studios. And this is definitely the, the, the stripper studio. <laughs> Their faces. <laughs> Oh, Jack, come on, come on, man. You guys are guys, you should be able to do this. You're in reasonable shape. Yeah, see, he can do it. <laughs> well, first of all, Jack, he had his arm in the wrong place. You gotta go like this, like you're doing a tricep curl. He had it like this. Nah, dude, nah. Can Markiplier do it? He's still doing it wrong. Put it behind your head, bro. Well, I guess maybe. Maybe that's how I do it. I don't know. Yeah, you can't use the no, 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 dude, not the thumbs. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, try no. Your thumb is still in the wrong place, man. Yeah, everyone thinks you gotta do this. There's actually wow, Mark Flyer. You <laughs> gotta yeah, dude. You gotta warm up your shoulder, man. I spent years of shoulder problems from that kind of thing. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, we have to blur that. You know what? I bet this is monetized. <laughs> but my stuff can't be. Okay, I completely did not mean to be reacting to this video. What is this? Why is she teaching them this advanced moves? They're not gonna be able to do that, girl. <laughs> yeah, look at him. <laughs> yeah, you need your skin. So PSA to everybody who like when you see actual pole dancers and they're always dressed in like basically bikinis It's not because we're trying to be sexy or whatever It's because you need your skin to grip the pole the more skin you have the more crazy tricks you can do So that's just how that goes. All right, Jack Make me proud Hey! Yeah, y'all be surprised. Like a lot of you guys can naturally do a lot of pull stuff that girls really struggle with at first because guys just have so much more upper body strength to begin with without even trying. Oh my God, Mark's face. <laughs> what? <laughs> and why is he wearing jeans? <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that they were able to do this so quick. Why are they wearing sneakers? <laughs> oh my God. I'm honestly impressed they have any upper body strength at all. <laughs> no shade. Hey, look, they're getting it like the first time. That's really impressive. Wow, wow. Pole dance video at 200K subs, and then I'll probably do one every like 50K or something. I think that's cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. And like, subscribe, notifications. Bye.